we'll read another case and answer questions. Janet has joined Devin International Diagnostics Customer Service as its CEO. So this is a diagnostics company and she is joined as its CEO. She would be overseeing two locations, one in Tampa, Florida, another in Lenexa with 250 plus employees, roughly 250 employees. Uh, 250 representatives working remotely from home. Devin is known as the leading provider of the diagnostic services and solutions across the world. Janet has been asked to turn around an organization that has gone through a complex consolidation process. Okay, I'm sorry. I'll do this case again. Let's uh, read the next case quickly and answer the questions. Janet has joined Devin International Diagnostics Customer Service, DCS, as its CEO. She'd be overseeing two locations, one in Tampa, Florida, one in Lenaxa with 250 employees, plus roughly 250 representatives working re remotely from home. So they have 250 employees in the company, plus 250 representatives working from home. Devin is known as the leading provider of diagno diagnostic services and solutions across the world. Janet has been hired to turn around an organization that has gone through a complex consolidation process the year before, in which its 20 customer service call centers had been pared down to two. It had 20 customer care service centers. It has come down to two now. And she now has to go through this consolidation process. She's the CEO. She's joined now. This is her objective. Labor costs were high, as was absenteeism and turnover. These are the challenges. Labor high labor costs, high absenteeism and turnover. Customers were dissatisfied with the quality of service and some were taking the business to Devin's chief competitor. DCS has suffered from high labor costs, primarily due to low productivity of inexperienced representatives. The biggest problem in DCS is inexperienced representatives because of that there is low productivity 60 percent of the reps left their first year citing that the job was too scary for them as they had to answer questions that could potentially impact somebody's life so the representatives are leaving their job after one year right so you hire new representatives who are inexperienced so it's dif difficult to so then they're having a problem with retaining employees Therefore, you are having inexperienced uh, representatives and these inexperienced representatives, obviously, the productivity is low. This is the main problem. Which of the following strategies will best help Jane in reducing the attrition rate? Introducing a step-based compensation system where the employees earn a raise by advancing through a series of steps, primarily involving upgrading skills on their own. Why would they do that? I mean, you do it on your own. Why can't the company do it? Right? If you have, they are leaving for two reasons. One, they are leaving because they don't, they are afraid. Right? They, they said that 60% left there, that the job is too scary for them. Maybe a skills training program would help. But uh, what does this mean? Compensation only if you upgrade your skills. The company can give them training. The key here is attrition rate is high. How to retain employees? That's the main thing they need to do. If you retain employees, in, within one year they're leaving. So you're always getting un, inexperienced employees. If you retain them, then they will have experience on the job and they will be more confident. So A doesn't make sense. B, encourage pro-social behavior in the employees. Give them the uh, opportunity to connect with one another. The prop Is the problem with employees not bonding with another, one another? then each other, then that's the issue. But this is not going to help retain the employees. They may be bonding well. They are only afraid to answer calls and, uh, you know, give answers which might affect life and they're leaving within a year. So the question is not that there's no bonding between employees. So having pro-social behavior is not going to help. Provide an inclusive vision where you tell the employee, look, when we move ahead, when we advance, you're advancing along with us. So have an inclusive vision, a sense of purpose and meaning in work. That's important. They should relate to their work. 
Second, develop programs that would enable them to gain hands-on experience. The biggest problem for the ad uh, attrition rate is inexperience and fear that they're not good enough. So if you give them a vision that, look, this is where what you are supposed to do, this is where we're going ahead, plus also give them hands-on experience and training so they do not doubt their own efficiency, that would cut down the efficiency, uh, attrition rate. Therefore, the correct answer is C.